another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? Pal, I think we know the answer to that. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dang and Rappa. If you guys just last episode, we hung out with Sakura and Mondo. We got Mondo's skill and I thought we really hit it off with Sakura, but we uh, didn't. Uh, as much as I thought we did, because I was expecting to get her skill. I did not. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Oh boy, another episode of my favorite show! Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. That's fantastic. I'm happy about that. Oh, God, it's morning. Anybody dead? Hello. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. <laughs> oh yeah, now this is a lo-fi jam that I could study to. I'm leaving. <laughs> To the dining hall! Let's go get Brecky, baby! Yes! Uh, I'm gonna hope that nobody died last night. Uh, just because I still want free time, if I'm honest. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... Yeah, Byakuya is not here. Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Byakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead, and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kinda empty. Hmm. Still, I know Byakuya is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Tyoko? <laughs> Tyoko? <laughs> I vote no, she's super annoying. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet! Anyway, Byaku is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's getting a going a little overboard. Honestly, I don't. Like, what the fuck? He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? The fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something, idiot? It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo. You're an idiot. D damn you. Who are you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous, I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I... I hate how weak I am. Yeah. Ah, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. What? What? How is it what? my fault? Hey, I wasn't on. trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? <sighs> uh, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It, it's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? D shut up. What? I got it. I'll make what? you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise? As a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Left you? Oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. 
okay. Thank you. Mondo. Uh, uh. Sure. But... I still don't like how I am right now. I want to get stronger. If I'm so weak anything can make me cry, that's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out sometime. But then Moose Fujisaki would get smacked into a billion pieces! Just a second. Shut up, you! <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Yeah, that seems like a great sentiment. Let's hope everybody agrees with that. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Uh, I just can't be sure. Okay, so what should I do today? Free time! Maybe we should work on Sakura's skill a little bit more because we are probably damn close. So if we see Sakura before anyone else, then maybe. Um, I might actually head to the the crank machine again and see if I get anything that just screams owie though. And if it does, then I'll have to put it down because that's kind of creepy. Am I right? <laughs> it's a joke because it would scream at me. Oh, so funny, Bryson. You gotta make light of dire situations like uh, my friends might kill me at any second. Oh shit, the mono mono machine! Hell yeah! Crank that bitch! Uh, still one at a time. Uh, this is still the same recording session as last time, so I don't actually quite know. We're nearing a 1 in 10 chance that I'm gonna get a repeat. Uh, now... Lucky! Yes! Oh, I got a double! Is that why it's actually more effective to do one at a time? Perhaps. Maybe you can only get one lucky crank. I- okay, now I'm understanding what lucky means, because at this point, I did not know. Lucky! Yes! Maybe that's why to do, to, like, one at a time. That being said, meticulously, that definitely belongs to Celeste. Like, that's her finger thing. I have no idea what the fuck that is, but she wears that all the time. <laughs> all right! Weed in a jar. <laughs> Again, only doing five at a time. I'll do five every day at free time. The fuck is that? I don't know. Honestly, some of the titles and descriptions help me figure out what the fuck they are. Some of them I just can tell straight from the get-go. Okay, that's a cup noodle! Uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's bring it down to the funny internet number. Ah, <laughs> 69. Fucking nice. Is that armor? The fuck? Who is playing Dark Soul around here? I should probably get going. God, I just love the Mono Mono machine, though. Nothing really screamed owie to me. Unless some of the things that we just got. Prismatic hardtack. A tough, long-lasting cracker used mainly as an emergency ration. Each piece contains a full seven different flavors. Delicious. I really wish this would skip the ones that I don't have. Uh, brand name diamond popular. Uh, br brand name popularly used in engagement rings. Although this one's just an imitation. I'm still gonna save it for somebody that I want to propose to. Oh, I don't have any more God of War charms. Glasses. Yes. Well, how do you better speak with the target of your spell? Uh, okay. Loincloth. Limited edition shirt featuring legendary punk rocker Jimmy Decay. Spiral? And is this a... What? Is this a reference to Gurren Lagann? <laughs> also, uh, this is not in the slightest what I thought this was. It is a chin drill. I thought <laughs> I thought this was the thing that Celeste wears on her finger. Okay. Well, I am stumped. Great! Love that! I might just hang out with Owie anyway. Maybe even Chihiro, because I'm pretty sure I absolutely have a um a, a gift for Chihiro. Possibly two? Chihiro's the gamer, right? I think. Oh god, it's been so long since the first episode. I don't remember. He for me, how you doing? I think uh, I'm gonna want to go to the pool regardless, though. Chihiro was here yesterday, I thought. 
Okay, so people can actually switch spots. Good! Ah, uh, Sakura? Maybe let's hang out? I'm sorry, but I don't have any progress to report. I haven't found a way out. I haven't solved any of the mysteries of this school. Ah. Uh, Alright. I've been, I've been feeling that we're close. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Yeah, why, why not? Sakura and I sat down for tea in a calm, relaxing conversation. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Ah. Uh, yes. <laughs> I do have a vice grip that symbolizes power. I don't know that that's actually good. Why not though? I'll give you a vice grip. Don't waste time on unnecessary things. All that matters is finding ways to make yourself stronger. It literally says that it represents power. Uh oh, I don't think she was too happy with the vice grip. Good, fuck. I should have just let it go. There's still time left of the day. Okay, bye then. Leave the area, yeah. Can I find Chihiro? Cause like, I'm pretty sure at the very least I'd be able to get quite far with Chihiro, considering, uh, uh, oh, Celeste. God, you're kind of freaky. Maybe I'll hang out with Celeste, I don't know. I do wanna help, I, I wanna hang out with Chihiro though. Maybe she's at the gym considering what she said yesterday. Um. Why are you here? Wow, they move quick, huh? God, I want to get to know Owie better, but like, God damn it, I don't, I don't have a gift, so I feel like it wouldn't be that fruitful, you know? Oh, there she is. She's in the laundry room. That's like the best way to actually find somebody. All right. Hey, Chihiro, you washing your clothes or something? I would certainly think so, because the laundry room would probably be rather boring otherwise. How you doing? Um, what's wrong? Do you need something? Huh, should I hang out with Jiro? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you wanna sit down and talk for a while? Yes, unless it's gonna make you cry. I spent some time talking with Jiro. Jiro and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give a present? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure I have like at least two gifts for Jiro. Cause there's like a game that's never released or something. And then there's also like that code book. Um. Where, where are either of them? Where, where, what? Tips and tips. Yes, yes. Oh, I have, I don't have this anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, how do I go back then? Go, go back one. No, don't, yes, no, I want to give her something. Are you sure you don't want to give her something? No, I do, so maybe not? <laughs> Excuse me, menu. Stop! I just got that game, I guess, then. Where the fuck is that? It's like, it's gotta be down near the bottom of the list, considering I just scrolled through, like, everything. Oh, is this it? What is this? Uh, good luck finding it. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the first time I've gotten something like this. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Mm. No, <laughs> I don't like it. No! What's wrong, Chihiro? Um, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Chihiro? I know. Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. How does that hurt? A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts. Did it really bite you that hard? Um, yeah. See, look. She held out her arm, huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Because that would intensify the bite, I guess? Oh, no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it. But I didn't do anything. I just saw it, sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched. Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? 
It must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, I would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. S sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize, but don't go scratching it, okay? I'll just make things worse. But... but what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the, the bump. That'll uh -huh. help. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, this school is completely sealed off, right? So how do a mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere in this school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot? A nature-y place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh, or, or, or maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out here in no time. <laughs> You're right, working together is super important. What? Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep. So let's all just do our best, Thank okay? You. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. Tia Rose Report card has been updated based on your maximum skill points. You gone way up. <gasps> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Was that the second person I hung out with today? Or... Or what? I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Yeah, I guess, pal. That's kind of where you go when you want to eat. Leave the area. No, I'll starve. <laughs> I just want some goldfish crackers, baby. The snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Anybody got goldfish in here? Fuck, I'm starving. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. What's happening? Uh, hi. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, excuse me, Jen. I just want to go get goldfish crackers. Hold Makoto, on. hold on! I must ask for your full cooperation! You can have to smack that smiles back later! All right, man, what's Listen going on? Me. Give it just the right time! I must ask for your full cooperation! Mondo? Hey. Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Uh, I don't like that. Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one. Call me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt. You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Yo. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that. Huh? The fuck you say? I don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward, you don't even realize it. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am! Okay, now let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. I accept your challenge! What? So, that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple dick length test, huh? Got it. We're going to see who has the bigger dick, and that'll be the end of it! Piece of shit! Goddamn straight! Just like my dick! Um... I don't like injecting my own lore, but here we go. Are you guys really gonna show each other your dicks? Fuck yeah! Yo. You'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway! What are you talking about? <laughs> People like him are, without exception, all talk! You wanna throw down? Bring it on! Unzip him, bad boy! Hell, let's make things interesting. Makoto, you take off your pants too! Interesting? Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. Pull those clothes off! We're gonna battle with all our clothes off! That's ridiculous! That's, that's idiotic! Suicidal! You wanna fight? What? You afraid? You're gonna regret this! Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this! Ah! Uh, <laughs>
What asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? <laughs> Just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good, I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. <laughs> okay. Are they? Okay. I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Are we breaking our curfew? Don't you think? It's about time. You gave up. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. <laughs> That's probably not good. Yeah, can we... Can we just, like, force him out? Hey, uh, guys? I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but... Don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! Ah, I just can't win! Guys, it's the Ding Dong Bing Bong! We gotta go! It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Or mosquitoes! Hey, did you hear that? It's night time, how about we call it a tie? In a true competition. There's no such thing as a tie. I really like Mondo's fucking hair towel. You win, or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. <laughs> I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. Th this isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Now you can start spreading my... my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk for someone whose face is about to explode. Right back. Gotcha! Okay, well, good night then. Good <laughs> bye! I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure to the death? No, surely they won't go that far. Surely they. If we have a class trial where I have to attest to the fact that they both fucking burnt themselves inside. Okay. <laughs> The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Oh boy! The Monokuma Theater! If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know! That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! Hey, uh, what's with your calendar in the back? Why is it waving at me? I don't like that. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Also, whoever left raisins in the sauna, can you please take them out? Oh, God! Those aren't raisins! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Morning, huh? I hope Mono and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... 
<laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I love this. What are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? Yeah. Been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great more like. Oh. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood! A woman could never understand! That right. What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't! Your body is a temple! Given to you by your loving parents! So, uh... Who, uh, won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions! What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship and friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Oh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> Oh boy, do I have free time again? Oh wow, so what should I do today? Huh? Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Hello? Oh hey Toko, you good? T Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so su surprised? Am I really that annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a, f a favor to ask. I want you to c go somewhere with me. Where are we going? Uh, where, where are we dropping, boys? Oh, well. T -t -t the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all this time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? I'm not a b b blabbermouth, right? That has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? <laughs> quiet. Quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She's actually, she actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. <laughs> okay, Makoto, go talk to him. Sure. What? Stop being so loud. Hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Ron! Just talk to him! Uh. Oh god, that's a bookshelf. That's not Byakuya. Uh, hey Byakuya. Uh, Toka with. Oh, this is a bookshelf. Oh, it's so dusty. That is the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If y'all want to subscribe for other main roll website, please do so. And also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time for what might be the cutest thing I've seen in the game. Toko might have a crush on Byakuya. <laughs> oh, young love.